Our final match of pool action of the women's side of the competition sees Samoa up against the Solomon Islands. And Nick, we've seen Samoa, they've been pretty clinical so far. Yeah, they have been, Jordy. They only lost coming to a red OPNG side this weekend. They've been really impressive. I've mentioned it more than a few times now that they play with really great patience and structure, happy to take the tackle, rebuild their shape. Play really great with to with. Solomon Islands struggled a little bit this morning. They've certainly got the ability as well. They've got some good strong carries in the midfield and a great ability to offload. Maybe just lacking some X Factor pace out wide. I'll tell you what, they play with their smiles though, that's for sure. They're happy to be here and playing some exciting footy. As we see. The final words and the final passion being shown from the Solomon Islands. It means so much to them representing their country as it does to all these nations here this weekend. So Samoa will be kicking off in the dark blue. Jessica Ling will be our referee in the middle. And it'll be the captain, Laula, to kick things off. And she stabs it left side, and that one's a bit ugly, but it's worked out all right there for Solomon. They scoop it up, and there's a wild pass out to the captain, Sami, and she puts the head down and goes up the middle. We're underway. Good interchange of passing and defence to go with it. Great inside ball there from Sade. They need to speed up the tempo here to Solomon Islands. Going cross field now is Kitakare. Solomon Islands swarming in defence and they may have forced the turnover they have here over the top of the ball. Great bit of play and they go quickly. Miss Luti on the outside and she flings it wide. Here's trouble down the left edge. It's the danger of Cole Amua. She's been pretty strong this weekend. And the long locks flowing as she runs down that left-hand side and gets the opening try. Yeah, she has been dangerous this weekend. So work a fear fear in the inside. She takes it quickly. She knows she's got the defense on the back foot. Draws in that last player. Throws a great pass. Straight on the chest of Cole Almua. And you called it, Geordie. She's been everywhere this weekend, racking up tries all over the field. Got a real clean pair of heels on her. Samoa starting strongly. Flags were down on that conversion. So the score remains five points the difference. As Leua restarts play down the throat there of Samoran. Goes up the middle. That's a good run from Sami. And that one's come off 
the hands. Just coming unstuck. The second time Solomon Islands have looked threatening. Tua Kanua up the middle. The 18 year old with that run. So Samoa now with options. Tanunga is sitting behind the scrum. They go right side, they fling it. What? Here's a wraparound play. We love to see that this weekend. Here goes the afterburners from the captain, Laiwa. She coasts away laterally across the field before straightening up towards the sticks. And there's Samoa's second try. Ten points to nil. Laula with great pace coming around the corner, but it's the wraparound play you called it. Just watch how they change the tempo and hold it up. And then hits that person coming back around the corner with great speed. Really well executed wraparound. To Nunga. She just held it up enough. And Leua, great turn of foot to beat the defence around the corner. S scores Samoa second. Out of the APR Maroon Club in Samoa. For the Samoan women are trying to emulate the men's. The Samoan side were very strong in Hong Kong, knocking off New Zealand in the pool matches. As the Samoan women restart playing, that one just looks like it went forward, but the referee disagrees and it's play on now for the Solomon Islands. Inside the 22. Sade is picked off, intercepted, and there's the pop pass out to Tuma Tuma, and she is very close now. Six away for Samoa, and they get the penalty going, not releasing the call. Parisa with a big dummy, she sells the candy and crashes over, and Samoa, they get their third try in four minutes. Yes, yeah, Samoa on fire here to start this game, Jordy. You called it Parisa with the big dummy, but just sustained pressure. There's no let up from the Samoan side, and they've done this all weekend, controlled the ball, been able to keep their opposition under the pump. Parisa, she was keen to go quickly. You can see why. She saw the space, felt the space. She sold the big dummy with her eyes and then burrowed in for the try. And she started it with the great defensive play, the intercept and the offload off the deck. And then she backs up with a second effort. Look, she's keen to get the ball in her hands. Plays quickly. Great example of how to preserve the space. Looked on the outside through the dummy and then found the space on the inside. So it's been one-way traffic so far. Solomon Island's been stuck in the road 40 the majority of this game. And that'll help things relieve some pressure as Sade taps and goes quickly and goes wide. Good tackle coming in there from Tumatumu. But still alive now for Solomon Island. They fling it wide and we're all left alone there from Solomon. It's play on, says the referee, gliding back on the inside. It's Katika, but the referee got the knock on in there. Yeah, once again, another mistake coming out of their own end from the Solomons. Just haven't been able to get out of their own half and put the Samoan defence under any pressure at all. And finding as the longer this tournament goes on, the difference between the, the top sides and these sides just below them, the speed of what they're doing things. Solomon Islands just a tad slow on the shift and the recycle. And as a result, the Samoan defence are all over them. Takika, she releases it wide. And Samoa now getting to the edge before dumbing and going back on the inside. And good contact in the middle from Solomon. But no roll the call against Solomon Islands. They go quickly now to the edge. Tanunga on the inside. Back to the captain, Lelua. And holding on by the fingertips is not enough. And Leua, she gets her second try. And Samoa leading out 20 points to nil on the stroke of halftime. Yeah, and she deserved that one. She had about three touches in that play, the captain. Leula, keen to play quickly. Great exchange down the left-hand side with Tunanga, I thought it was. 
backed up superbly for two or three touches. She started it and she finishes it for her side. Blows the game open for Samoa right on half time. And that's half time. It's been all Samoa in the opening seven, leading 20 points to nil. Solomon Islands have all the work to do with the second half just moments away. live with the Oceania Rugby Sevens Challenge day two action we're getting towards the pointy end of the competition and Samoa making a statement so far in this first half leading 20 points to nil yeah we've seen today Jordy the cream rising to the top PNG two wins Samoa on the cusp of a two wins this morning as well As we get started with Samoa with first possession in this second half and they play some good hands with Fia Fia and that's a good ball down the edge and here goes Klamua and but a stolen there from Solomon Islands and Sami she flings it back inside to Powell and she swarmed in some good defense there from Kitaka and now Solomon goes across and just wrestled to the turf. And they're flooding the breakdown. It's a wrestle at the base, and they just fling it anywhere. Jessica Sami, she's forced to clean it up. The captain, under so much pressure from Samoa, over the top of the ball, and there it is, wrecking absolute havoc. It was, it was bound to happen. Away they go once again, and cruising into the line, Tanunga, the 20-year-old out of St. Pat's in New Zealand. That's good sevens play. Yeah, brilliant defensive pressure from sevens. It's not all about the free-flowing attack. Samoa bringing the heat in defense and look at the effort from Tunanga here. It's her that puts the pressure on, flinging the attacker into the ground. Then she's on her feet, creating the turnover. She wants more from there, quickly taking the tap. And free space in front of her creates a Solomon Islands napping. Great bit of effort there from the 20 year old. 27 nil the score in this final pool match of the women's. With plenty of excitement to come. We're heading to the men's finals footy coming up next. And then into the women's playoff matches. The Samoa go deep off this kickoff. And they get a result here. They may have come off an arm of the Solomon Island into touch and talk about a perfect restart. They have a line at now five away from the Solomon Islands line. Yeah, it's a perfect restart after points, isn't it? Score a try and then kick long, force a mistake and get the ball back right on the five metre line. Straight back on the attack, Samoa looking to go bang, bang. There's a throw and that one misses the mark, so... Solomon Islands will have the ball on their own try line under a bit of pressure too and they throw a dangerous pass based on where they are in the field but Sami, she's the leader, she's been the best by a long way 
and trying to spread the attack. It's not a bad option. It's a good pass on the outside, trying to free something up, but it went forward, said the referee. It was a right idea there, Nick, but just couldn't get the pass. Yeah, you're right. It was definitely the right idea. She was away too down the left-hand side. Unfortunately, the ref just deeming that it's floated forward through the air. Great skill to get the ball over the defenders. Put the outside player away. Unfortunately, just forward Samoa straight back on the attack. Got the captain, Luales, eyeing off the short side here. And Vea feeds it, and they go right before swing it back left to Nunga. Throws a beautiful pass, one on one now in the corner. And there it is, the new straight onto the field, Powell. She's dangerous every time she touches the ball and she gets another one in the corner there for Samoa. And have a look at the width of this passing. This creates the try. The first one from the captain, Leula, and the second one. That's a great ball from Tunanga. She gets power one on one with her defender. Lovely little in and away and a fend to score the try. But the skill and the speed of the shift from the inside players creating the opportunity. Perfectly executed wide shift from the Samoan straight from the scrum. Samoa leads now 32 points to nil. Setting up some blockbuster matches to come later today. Have a dart. And that one's very high. Around the neck there. Good to see her back to her feet. Red. Vaya was the one with the high shot. I'm just going to talk. Jessica Lee's going to talk to her assistant. And this may be Red. So I actually have direct head contact with Paul. Great insight there between the two referees and Jessica Ling has no choice but to go to the red card. Direct contact with the head. I must admit it felt like a red card. Watching it live here in the commentary box. Hopefully no repercussions for the finals for the Samoans there. Losing a player for the rest of the game. So Solomon Owens would love to get a five-pointer on the board. Up against six. And they get the penalty. No clear release against Samoa. The Tolvo was the one over the top of that one. They go wide now. You can hear the roars of the crowd. They're trying to get behind the Solomon Islands. Another pony comes, no advantage being played. So get back to the mark. And they go again. Solomon Islands trying to free something up, and that's a big shot over the top. And forced to go digging for it. No clear release again. So back to back penalties here. Discipline letting down the Samoans. As they go quickly now, trying to find some space. Gets a pass away eventually, but it just went too late. Now Samoa have the ball in some open field. And down the touchline. To a Kahina, and she's in open field. And she will just coast it in now. Kyla to a Kahina, the 18-year-old. My apologies, that is Sulavali. Fresh onto the field there for the Samoa, and she scooped it up. Intercepted and she had the legs. A 36 year old. We see the replay here, Nick. Great bit of work. Great bit of skill. Pulls it in with the left mitt. And then the big right hand fan to back it up. It could be a first touch. Is she fresh onto the field? She's got the length 
to start the game. Great try from the Samoans. That Solomon Islands, they had him under pressure. They just couldn't capitalise Samoa. Too strong as they have been for most of their opponents this weekend. And Samoa will close this one out. 37 points to nil in a pretty dominant display. Setting the scene for a big finals campaign later on this afternoon. So this is where we leave things for a 25 minute break. And we'll be back as we hit into the men's side of the draw. And what should be a bumper afternoon of seven rugby. We'll see you soon. <laughs>